Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Off the Wall, and this is a uh, uh, version of Breakout by Atari Games, who of course created, created the original Breakout. And uh, you use a uh, dial to control your pedal, and you bounce a ball, not upwards against uh, colored walls, but towards the center of the screen in which there are bricks and they surround an exit and you need to bounce the ball into the exit in order to end the level. That's kind of interesting, kind of cute. There are some uh, kind of unfinished looking parts of the game though. Um, I can't remember if I saw this in arcades, but uh, this was created by Atari Games in 1991. And uh, like Arkanoid, there are various power-ups you can pick up. And to get those power-ups, you have to bounce the ball against certain uh, tiles. And they're not going to be available to you at the, beginning, at the beginning of the game. They'll appear later in the game. Uh, I don't know how many levels this game has. Maybe 100. I've gotten to like level 72 and given up. It's, it might just restart uh, after level 99 or something. But uh, you get to choose your starting level, and you'll get a bonus for completing it. You can start at Rookie, Expert, Beginner, or Advanced. We're just going to go with Rookie, in which we get no bonus for starting or for completing the level. Uh, sorry, I was trying to fiddle with MAME controls until I got the right speed of the paddle that I wanted. And yeah, all you have to do is get the ball to bounce into the exit. And uh, in the meantime, or uh, when you do get it into the exit, you will get a bonus for all remaining blocks. And uh, once in a while, the ball will split into two balls. Just, just after a general amount of time, you'll see the ball will become large and then it will split into two when it hits your paddle again. And you press the button to launch the ball. If you don't press the button, it'll just launch by itself after a little while. But, um, see where it says slow on the bottom right? Eventually, the, balls will move, the ball will move a little faster, and especially on the later levels. Now, sometimes for some reason that I don't get, the uh, um, the ball uh, will barely move sometimes after it hits your paddle. It will barely move forward a little bit as it bounces. It's really weird. I don't know why that happens and they don't really explain But there are little uh, little differences that they throw at throw at you during uh, later levels, or little additions that they make. See the ball's getting big; it's gonna split now. Um, but uh, we'll look at those later. Ooh, that's gonna give me some decent points. Later on, there will be white blocks that you cannot destroy. And they will be worth a lot of points uh, later on when you get to the exit. Now we have the power-up blocks, and those are the uh, kind of flashing ones. You can get a, a catch option, you can make your paddle bigger, you can get an extra life. And it says that, and it says uh, you also have a laser. And it says that uh, your ball can be invincible. Oops, I lost it. Good shot. But, uh, yeah, it says, uh, there's like one invincible ball option. And I don't know what that does. I mean, it still, it still bounces off the balls. Or, uh, bounces off the blocks. So I don't know what the hell that's about. And there's also a slow down the ball option. And see, it now says real slow in the bottom right. And there I got to the exit and destroyed the remainder 
of the blocks. But yeah, like I said, there are. Uh, I don't. I don't know that there's any uh, end to the game at all. As far as I can tell, there isn't. Yeah, I've never seen this in arcades. I don't think. This probably didn't last very long. And now the the ball is speeding up. It says medium. Ooh, that's gonna give me a decent bonus. And now we have two exits. One uh, later on in the game, there might be times when uh, there is just one exit, but it switches between uh, two different uh, uh, squares of uh, blocks. We'll see some of the other uh, changes that the game makes later on to the gameplay. Whoops, that's hard uh, when the bricks are so close to your paddle to keep the ball from getting past you. Well, I chose not to continue right here. But we will look at uh, parts of uh, later on in the game. I'll put in my initials here. It's an okay game, but like I said, some uh, aspects seem a little unfinished. Well, I hope you're uh, managing to stay cool. It's gotten really hot <laughs> lately, or at least where, where I'm at, in the uh, Pacific Northwest U.S. But that was uh, Off the Wall by Atari Games in 1991. And like I said, we'll look at uh, uh, later parts of the game. Wave 9. I put on infinite lives at this point. And now we get this uh, new addition, the white bricks. They can't be destroyed. And they'll, the ball will just bounce right off of them, see? But we have the power-up blocks again. And we'll scoot forward to me uh, beating this level. And there's the uh, bigger paddle power-up. This kind of has a uh, has the uh, feel like um, uh, Clax kind of a punk punk uh, deco look to it. Creepy faces in the background. But we're just looking at uh, later later levels in the game level 13 and I like this guitar here for wave 14 and now some bricks will move in circles we have moving bricks see they'll uh, rotate and we'll look at some of the other new quirks and now we have uh, blocks that parachute down. <laughs> and uh, when you destroy the bricks, the parachuting blocks will take their place. But you can destroy the parachuting blocks. Let's <laughs> see, you'll get uh, some extra points for doing so. Oops. I got clumsy uh, at this point because I had infinite lives and I just didn't care. Now we have these uh, things that can speed up the ball. If they touch him, uh, put, makes the ball move really weird. And there's we have that pinwheel in the middle. We'll see what happens when it touches when the ball touches it. Oops. See, it makes it move weird. And there's two other spheres that will make it move weird. But this is kind of a cute, oops, this is kind of a cute game. And now, uh, section six, watch out for the moving bricks. And these will move over a space. Yeah, if you, if you, uh, screw up really bad right after a serve, it'll, it might say try again. And now we have bricks that fly straight up. And they'll, uh, replace, uh, uh, bricks that were knocked out at the top. 
And you can destroy these uh, flying bricks too. And you get points for them too. But yeah, for some reason, the block, the uh, the ball moves weird sometimes, and there, there's no explanation given for that. And uh, after beating wave 40, now we get a, a new little quirk, and we'll see what it is here. Watch out for bricks on the march, and there will be the rows of bricks will expand outwards one, I believe. We'll see that in just a moment. Yeah, I don't understand, yeah, I don't understand why the ball acts so weird sometimes. There's no, no rhyme or reason for that. And now in section 9, the bombs will take out bricks next to them. So you can hit the bombs and destroy some bricks near him, which is nice. Uh, come on. Okay, there we go. But again, those uh, flashing bricks are the power-up bricks. And then at section 10, some bricks are invisible. All the ones that don't have power-ups. See, you saw them flash for a brief second. And uh, now, be careful uh, getting the shot. Getting shot from these weird uh, colored pyramids shrinks your paddle. The pyramid kind of looked like uh, Pink Floyd's The Dark Side of the Moon. Ah, see, I got shrunk. You can't get shrunk more than once. Which is fortunate, because having a super small paddle would suck. But that was Off the Wall by Atari Games in 1991. Kind of an interesting uh, take on Breakout. This is Crazy Clown Ready saying thanks for watching Off the Wall by Atari Games in 1991. I will catch you later in the future with another video re-upload. Stay cool, everybody. Bye-bye.